everyone, welcome back to another video. I just want to quickly say um, a massive thanks to like the two and a half thousand people that watched my previous video. I don't know, I think it's at like 2,300 at the moment. Um, that seemed to resonate a lot with uh, what I was saying about the current situation with van life in the UK. If you haven't watched that video, go check it out. I just had a really open and honest conversation to the camera about how I felt and yeah, there's a lot of people that seem to feel the same way. I um, I, I received a hell of a lot of messages and I felt quite bad because some people were saying, oh, are you saying that I can't get a van because it's just going to end in disaster? It didn't quite mean that. I just meant, I was just trying to be as real as possible and often that comes across as really kind of negative. Um, I just mean you've got to have the mindset of things will go wrong and it takes a good few months for you to get into that mindset of just basically realizing you may be stuck in one place for a couple of months or a month or however your financial situation is and not just financial situation weight on garages you know you think to yourself oh i can just dive in a garage if something goes wrong that's not realistic depending on time of year what's going on what area you're in you're getting for a heavy weight into a garage, you know, um, and also finding a reputable, reputable garage as well. All these things to consider, so. Anyway. I started to carpet at the top of, above the cab. It's gone really well so far, I'm really happy with it. Um, I ran out of trim fix, and that's kind of the only reason I stopped. <laughs> um, it's, um, it's quite easy to use, and um, it was going up fine, so I was a bit gutted when I ran out of that, so I've had to wait for that to arrive, so that's come. So I'm just gonna finish up doing this edge here and this section here for tonight. Um, it's really horrible outside tonight. It's like all of a sudden it's just winter. It's really drizzly and horrible. But anyway, I'm gonna crack on with this and uh, yeah, I'll uh, just leave you sitting there to watch really. <laughs> Right, what's been going on? I've been quite busy, guys. I've done, I finished the carpet and above the cab. I'll show you that in a second. I also just got some Seeker 522 and sealed the, um, the kind of ceiling joists that go across the ceiling because I want to fill them with expanding foam, um, to sort of fill them voids and create a bit more insulation. I've also ordered a load more stuff. I've ordered some rear lenses. Um, I'll show you as I go again. Uh, a new tailored floor mat for the front, <laughs> which is random. Um, but yeah, the most important thing I've got is a signal receiver, which goes around the ignition barrel, which um, is what I think causing the problems. I think that signal receiver and a lot of my friends think that as well. So, right, um, let me show you. Hang on, let me get, so get myself organized. I'm terrible, guys. What am I doing here? What am I doing first? I think let's do the easy things first <laughs> and we'll do the ignition barrel last. And um, yeah, not saying that that should be too difficult. It's just a case of pulling plastics off and getting to the receiver. But I think the rear lenses should be a bit easier. So let's dive into that, guys. <laughs> Trust the one downside to carrying around a mattress all the time is it just gets in the way all the time. So I've had to get the mattress early because 
sort of before the van's finished because obviously I stay in the van quite a bit. It's like I've had to, I could have got an airbed or something, but I wanted to be comfortable sooner. But yeah, it's just a pain because I have to keep moving it all the time. But let me show you the carpet up top. So that's how the carpet finished in the end. Um, I just want to tidy up these edges across the top here. Uh, and yeah, I was quite pleased with it really. Uh, considering I picked one of the most awkward spaces to do it with. I know I said I was going to continue on that video because it was like to be continued. That's true. I want to continue on that video with doing the rear doors and the side door uh, carpet and that. So that video will continue on. It's just how things have worked out. I've just kind of got to prioritise this immobiliser and I want to fix some other bits whilst I'm at it today. And then we'll come back to the carpet and maybe on the next video. But right, let me get this matterese out of the way and then we'll have a go at them rear lenses. So as you can see, it's got a bit of a nasty crack in that lens there, which is the rear reverse light. This is the rear fog light. It's got a crack there as well. Uh, don't ask me how someone's done that, I don't know. Um, they are an advisory on the MOT, so. So I had a bit of a nightmare here. Once I got the lens out, I realized that when I was putting the van in reverse, the bulb wasn't working. At first I thought I'd done something to the cabling or something, because the bulb, I couldn't see where it had blown at all in the bulb. Um, but no, it had actually blown, so I had to pop to Asda. Okay, so I did remember that Asda made, uh, they do car bulb replacement kits. So there's two bulbs, because I think the uh, fog light is blown as well by the looks of it because I tried the fog light and that didn't work so hopefully we've got enough bulbs in there um, obviously fog one that needs just to be done before the MOT and any fog but um, as long as I can get the two reverse lights back in it's kind of what I'm going to do I'm going to drink my monster quick and then head back to the spot right hooray so that might have always been blown and I've just never realised. I'm sure I reversed somewhere and I saw two, but who knows. Okay, so that little kit was quite good. It comes with just basic bulbs. Now I can chug it back together and we can see if it actually all fits together nicely again. <laughs> right, one down. It looks a lot better than that, guys. It just seems to be projecting a bit better as well. Obviously because it's new. Let's sort out that horrible one. So we can get rid of that crack. It would make sense if that's blown, because obviously that's cracked. So let's uh, have a bash at that one. This isn't right, believe it or not. I don't ask me how that's wrong, but the fog light bulb doesn't fit in the bottom section. So it's sad. <laughs> it does look better though. It does freshen up the back a little bit. So they look bright as well, because obviously the lenses are cleaner. Okay, what's next? Hi guys, to be honest with you, it's just been one of them weekends. As you can see, I put the floor mat in. Um, I think it looks really nice. Just finishes it off the front cab. Um, I've got to do some more things with the signal detector in regards to the immobiliser. So I will um, update you guys with what's going on with that. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.